the depreciation because that's like the most extreme case of like a prepaid kind of situation. So, and it's also one that you can't avoid again, even if you're a cash based system. So even if you're a cash based system, uh, you're saying, hey, I'm doing everything cash based. Well, the tax code is still gonna force you with large purchases like equipment, buildings, even if you paid cash, you can't just write them off as an expense. And you can see why that would be. If you had a $100,000 building expense down here, and then you tried to compare January to February, it would be like if you bought the building in January, you would have this massive loss in January compared to February, which isn't actually accurate in terms of a performance because you bought the building and you're gonna use it for 30 years into the future. So there's, you don't have the comparability and it's so extreme, it's so obvious that that's a problem with comparability with property, plants, and equipment, that even if you're on a cash-based system where you're kind of forced, people just recognize that, oh yeah, I gotta put that on as an asset. Well, why? Because you're doing an accrual thing. You're putting it on the books as an asset as opposed to expensing it when you purchased it because it's such an extreme example of the situation. And the tax code is gonna force you to do that as well. So uh, no, notice that the furniture and equipment uh, shouldn't have too many transactions related to it. So whenever you make purchases, then you can give that, usually the sub ledger is gonna be done by your tax professional. So you're usually gonna to have to be dependent on the tax professional to give you the depreciation schedules, which they can do either on a book basis or a tax basis. And then we're gonna to have to record the adjusting entry of accumulated depreciation. That's when we allocate the expense to the time period we actually used it, or that's what we're trying to do although it's just an estimate, which is why we, we don't actually write down the furniture and fixture or fixed asset account, but use another account called accumulated depreciation. It's a contra asset account. So we'll dive into that in more detail later, but everybody kind of has to deal with that accrual thing, even though, even if you're on a cash-based system and you're a small business and you're just trying to do things for taxes or something like that.